Oh, did I so yeah, the um, the debate about oh black and white and all this sort of race hate that race hate this race Jews are horrible, horrible all them Jews all of them a whole lot um, all the black people yeah they're all horrible all the white people the white people they're all horrible so if it's a big lie there is no such thing as racism right there's only one race and that's mankind that's it people are individuals and that's the way you treat them you can you, you know you can have a, a stupid white person you can have a nice white person you can have a stupid black person you can have a nice black person right you can have a stupid Jew you can have a nice Jew doesn't matter all people are just individuals all right and uh, that's the way you should be looking at people so it, it really doesn't matter it, it's, it's up to you um, you and your relationship with that person, each person. But, you, but if uh, you've been told you've got to hate whole groups, then that's that's your issue. Is you know you, you need to fix it. Then you got the mob that go, oh well, the Bible says blah blah blah. So you got two groups there too, which are what do you got here? The oh, what are these mob neo neo whatever neo Confederate white. Um, supremacists and all that sort of lot so th this lot here obviously hate blacks I think they also hate Jews of course so hate everything so it makes it very difficult for this lot to love their neighbor actually they, they can't love their neighbor it's impossible but that's you know the, the sense of it so they're not they're not Jesus followers by any stretch of the imagination what they're promoting is what they believe in is that the white white colored skin is what matters they put that above everything all right otherwise you can't have god if you don't have white colored skin you can't have god um and that's the way they look at it and um yeah and only love neighbors that are white all right so you, you got these guys um then you got the black hebrew israelites they're the other side you can't have god unless you're black and uh they can have slaves white slaves and all that sort of stuff and um um, same sort of thing. They're they're all, you know, against white people. Rah, rah, rah. They come from Freemasonry, and they mainly think they're Jews, um, Juda Judaism or whatever. Uh, same, same. But they're so tiresome. All these lots. The, 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 they should be just following Christ, right? Just forget about all this sort of stuff and follow Christ. But no, <laughs> they, they've got to go off and do their own thing so all right so they're all squawking oh but the seed of abraham's all white you know because abraham was white and blah 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 so abraham <coughs> um was justified by faith all right all people have faith doesn't matter what color your skin is if you have faith you you can be justified by your faith all right, so let me put it another way. The law was our guardian until Christ came. It protected us until we could be made right with God through faith. All right, so we're back to Christ. Followers of Christ. Christians. All right, so if you're following Christ, you'll get this. All right, and now that we, now that the way of the faith has come, we no longer need the law as our guardian. For you are all children of God through faith. All right, in Christ Jesus. And all who have been uh, united with Christ in baptism have put on Christ, like putting on new clothes. There is no longer Jew or Gentile, slave, free, male and female, black or white, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And now that you belong to Christ, you are the true children of Abraham. All right, you are his heirs. And God's promise to Abraham to belong belongs to you. All right. So God promised Abraham that his all his seeds. All right. I'll do this in the KJV thing. All right, so where are we? Uh, all right. And if you be Christ, then you are Abraham's seed. Okay. And as according to the promise. All right, so all all these other two lots as well, 
um, they all like the Old Testament because the Old Testament has the stuff that they like to hear, right? It it does all the black and white and all that sort of stuff. They can make it fit their their narrative what they want. But when you've you come back to the Bible and it's saying, well, I'll go back to this one and make it easier for people. NLT. Let me ask you this question. Did you receive the Holy Spirit by obeying the law of Moses? Of course not. You received the Spirit because you believed the message you heard about Christ. How foolish can you be after starting your Christian lives in the Spirit while you're now trying to become perfect by your own human effort? All right, this is you guys. This is the, the black and white. I'm black and I'm white, whatever. This is you guys. It's talking... You're a Galatian. You're a foolish Galatian, <laughs> right? You, you're trying to put yourself back under laws and 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 things like that, right? It, it won't work. You you're going about it the wrong way. So uh, yeah, try and um, have a look through Galatians and Romans. Romans, all right. Read them over and over again, and then if you're truly looking for God, right, this is what you got to do. Don't be trying to please God or impress God with how good you are, because you're not good. Just cut that out. Just stop trying to impress God, right? What you got to do is give yourself to God and let Him teach you, right? And seek God and see what He wants and let Him talk to you individually as a person, right? Yourself. Right? So leave these gangs and these groups. Uh, whoever you're in or whoever's your favorite leave them and get to know god one-on-one -on -one by yourself all right um, that's that's the main goal is to have a relationship with god then you can find out all these things that you, know, you won't listen to but it's um it's all there all in the bible all right god bless guys see you soon